so what's the day today? Um So hello people of planet earth, Here I'm, going to, I'm going to do some lectures on nationified chemistry. Um, you'll see my other videos and viruses, um, understanding viruses. If you like these videos please subscribe, I need lots of subscribers. Um, so if you like them please support my videos, please support my channel. So start, I'm going to start off at the beginning of the syllabus with um, reaction rates. What makes chemical reactions? Chemistry, um, that what makes chemical reactions is directly related to what chemistry is about. Chemistry um, so this is to what chemistry is about, which is is about how atoms and molecules interact. And but basically how they wrap together. Okay. Um, another way of putting it is about what another way of saying that. is chemistry is chemist is about what 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 solids liquids and gases are made of Okay. Okay. So when um I suppose a best example of A good example of reactions is burning, is, is burning um, paper or coal, okay? Um, or camping gas. Um, which you might use on your, your cooker. Um, this is also called this is also called it's called combustion. And a lot of Heat is produced. Okay. Plus, you get um, when you burn any of these things, you also get get carbon dioxide made, um, and also also water. 
Okay. But what affects the rate of reactions? What controls? So yeah, what, when you burn paper, coal or camping gas cookers, either if you're camping or when you turn the cooker on in your kitchen, you get flame. This is combustion and the heat is made, a lot of heat, plus CO2 and water. But what controls the rate? So I will do that next. There are a number of factors. Um, temperature. The temperature plus the, the, the concentration. Okay. And particle size. Okay. Um, temperature, concentration, particle size. So, um, at low temperatures, normally reactions. slower. Okay. And at higher temperatures, normally reactions are faster. Okay. Also, the, the pH can control um, reaction rates. That's more relevant in living organisms. Okay, so temperature, concentration, particle size and pH. Um, at low temperatures At low temperatures, um, particles move around very slowly. Move around slowly. Forgive my spelling, please. Spelling was never my strong point. Um, I can't spell. I struggle. One of my uncles, who got a first class honours in French at Cambridge University, famously failed all his science at school. This was back in the 1950s. But he failed the whole lot of them. But he went on to do a PhD in French literature at Cambridge. I did badly in English, in English as well at school, but passed all my science. At low temperatures, atoms and particles move around slowly. Okay. So atoms which are So these normally these move around and they interact. Um, 
the atoms, which are represented by little dots here. They, they, so they, they, they are sort of the they're jiggling about, okay, and they, and at low temperatures they jiggle very slowly. At low, tem at low temperatures, they jiggle slowly. So when they interact, they interact slowly. Oh, it's, it's off screen, sorry, that was off shot. Um, atoms here jiggle about, and at low temperatures they jiggle slowly, so they, they interact and react slowly. Okay. Um, at high temperatures, though, they move a lot. They're very, they move very fast when there's lots of when there's lots of energy in them. At low temperatures, there's very little energy in them, so they move around slowly. At high temperatures, at high temperatures, at high temperatures. They have lots of energy. They have lots of energy. So they move about, so they move fast, okay? A good analogy is actually people. Some people are very energetic. Some people are very sluggish and slow. That is actually entirely due to chemistry. People who have a high metabolic rate, so all their chemicals and chemistry inside the body is moving quickly and all the molecules are moving about faster, they are more energetic. They make more energy and they can run around more. And they usually are much thinner as well because their body is metabolizing faster. People who are, people who are more overweight have slow chemistry in the body, so they aren't so full of energy and they're more sluggish. So even slow people and people who are very energetic, this is all actually controlled by chemistry and uh, physics. So, so yeah, at high temperatures, atoms and molecules have lots of energy, so they move fast. And we'll pick it up next lecture I think. Thanks for listening.